ever so in this tutorial I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how Magento works so when you have Magento installed on your domain name or even say a local host then what you see after installation is this empty web page so you don't have any products right now you don't have any form of payment system on your Magento only you have is the pages which is like this about us contact us customer service privacy policy also sitemap search terms search and account so if you are having admin credentials to Magento then you will be able to change all of this and turn your website into a fully working e-commerce website so let's get to that I have my credentials here which I am going to enter and it should take me to the home page of my magenta shop okay so I am inside this dashboard and what I'm going to show you right now is how you can modify this theme or at least get these pages to working in next tutorials we will see how you can add the products and after that I will tell you how to connect your payment system with Magento this is a community edition of Magento so if you want to use a cloud hosted version then all the installation and support will be given by official Magento corporation okay so this is a community edition on which I am showing you this demo okay so this is the dashboard where I see the sales orders and the search terms also the revenue and most viewed and visible products are shown here this is our Magento admin panel so let's first start with the UI so what do you see here on the top you have dashboard tab which will give you this page on sales tab when you take your mouse on it you will find orders invoices shipments credit memos transactions recurring profiles billing agreements TOS or terms and conditions and tax where you have all these options for tax then you have catalog where you're going to manage the projects and their attributes also mobile where you have settings related to your mobile enterprise then customers where you can manage to profile your customers add them group them and also see the transaction done by them then you have promotion tab where you can set the rules for price and shopping cart coupon codes etc then your newsletter you can send newsletter from this dashboard also you have CMS port where you can get to add the pages blocks widgets and polls then there is reporting which gives you reporting to all the features that we have on these tabs like sales shopping carts product catalogs customers tags reviews search terms and stats also we have system tab where we are going to manage configuration of everything for Magento like your account notification tool web services design import export currency transactions custom variables permissions then your Magento connect manager where you are going to download your extension free or paid then index management stores order status configuration these are the settings that you can modify from system tab these are basically the tabs on which we are going to work in next few tutorials so this was the introductory part where I wanted to explain how the dashboard works so when you log into your Magento dashboard you will get to know what these things are okay 
so we will start with CMS option where we are going to edit the pages we can hide remove and edit the pages as well like let's say about us customer service home page privacy policy you can add new page by clicking here on this add new page button this should take you to the page where you get to add the title and other attributes of that page and it will be added in this table once you save the set settings for that page we don't have the shipping related page here so when we create a new page we will just name it as shipping page and we will just type some random data and hopefully it will get added on our front page okay this is our shipping page URL key should be shipping status enable now let's save the page okay right now I have only created the page title now in content heading shipping information just copy it and paste here now save page now it will take me to the design and we will have metadata okay now my page is added here at the bottom of this table let's check our home page to see how it looks okay so we want to add it here in company tab so let's go and put it into company tab now if I want to add my shipping links all I have to do is go to CMS tab then click on static blocks and it will take me to the list of blocks that are on my shop and then I will able to edit this photo links company so to follow that go to CMS static blocks and click on photo links company then you'll have this interface and at the bottom type shipping now to add the shipping page we need to know the URL and we can get that URL by going to the pages and then go here so all we have to do is we have to just select this or just from up to shipping and then go here and then at the bottom just select it then add the hyperlink click on insert and save your block after saving you can edit the home page now refresh the page and you will find it here and 
under the bottom of your company block you will find the shipping page added as well okay so this is our page now we know how to add static blocks you know how to add new page and link it from the static blocks as well okay and so in future tutorials i will cover the rest of the tabs of magento dashboard and we will see more in depth on how to do things with magento shopping cart I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I will see you later in the next video. Thank you.